Hello to you, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade here with your daily tropical forecast, your tropical update. Of course, we do this every day around 4 p.m. usually during hurricane season, which of course began just a few days ago and we have hurricane season lasting all the way through the end of November. Fortunately, nothing threatening the Houston area right now, but we do have a little action out there. So I'm going to show you where we do have some areas of concern and where things are pretty quiet. Let's start off with the Gulf of Mexico and we are looking pretty quiet right now. Notice these buoys only picking up wind speeds around maybe four to 15 miles per hour, so no strong to severe wind showing up there. We do have some convection, some thunderstorms that are occurring around the Houston area, but they are not of a tropical nature, so we're not concerned about a tropical cyclone developing over the next couple of days. So overall, things across the Gulf of Mexico looking pretty quiet, and we are not anticipating anything developing at least for the next day or so, and nothing that the National Hurricane Center is currently monitoring. So let's move on to the next location. This is typically what is considered kind of a hot spot for this time of the year. For the month of June, we typically see a decent number of tropical systems that could potentially get started in the Western Caribbean. So this is an area that we will be monitoring. Right now, you can see those darker colors indicating some showers and storms, some convection out there, but this is not considered a tropical system. It's basically just an area of showers and storms, a disturbed weather area, but it's not expected to develop into a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. But there's the Yucatan Peninsula, there's Cuba, and you can see that we've got an area of showers and storms off to the south of Cuba, and we've got a few showers and storms clipping central and eastern portions of Cuba as well, but the Hurricane Center not monitoring that area for tropical development for now. So those showers and storms are behaving. We're not really seeing any area of low pressure developing that could turn into a tropical system. So let's go out into the Atlantic. And for the most part, things are fairly quiet in the Atlantic, but far east Atlantic definitely dealing with a little action. This is off in the eastern portions of the Atlantic, as I mentioned, near the Azores, not far from the Canary Islands. And this is that same system that I talked to you about yesterday. This is our disturbance. It's a non-tropical area of low pressure. You can see it circulating counterclockwise there where you see that yellow X. That is the system very close to the Azores, as I mentioned, but only a low shot for development, a 10% chance for development over the next 48 hours, and only a 10% shot for development over the next seven days. I think. Seven days from now, this system will likely be long gone. There's a low chance it could briefly become subtropical over the next 24 to 48 hours, but it is forecast to push off to the north and east into some cooler waters, and it's not really going to be able to sustain itself. So that window for development will be very short lived, but this is far, far away from the US. We're talking about thousands of miles away. It's very close to Spain at this point, and it is expected to push more to the north and east instead of coming back to the west closer to the US. So we're not concerned about that system, but if it were to briefly develop into something stronger, maybe a tropical storm, the name would be Brett, but the chances of that happening are fairly low at this point. But if we do get any additional activity, that next name on the list for our tropical cyclones for this season would be Brett, and then we go down to Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert. Then we would get to the first new name on the list for this season, that would be Harold. And of course that replaces the name Harvey, which was retired because Harvey, of course, produced so much damage, catastrophic flooding right here in the Houston area. Some areas receiving over 50 inches of rain and a lot of damaging wind as well. So Harvey will never be used again for hurricane names. As far as our hurricane season outlook, it's basically an average season we're expecting. Of course, the Colorado State University forecast and the NOAA forecast showing an average number of name storms, hurricanes and major hurricanes. Normally we get about 14 name storms in a season and that is pretty much what we are expecting this hurricane season to be fairly normal. But we all know it only takes one system to cause a lot of major issues for our area. So of course we will be monitoring for any type of tropical development as we go over the next several weeks and next several months. Sea surface temperatures are still fairly warm in the Gulf and the Caribbean. We're talking about temps 
in the upper 70s to low 80s for much of the Gulf and middle 80s for a big chunk of the Caribbean. So certainly dealing with some warm water that could help to sustain a tropical system if one were to get going. But right now we're not really seeing anything that would be threatening us anytime soon. So we are into the first month of hurricane season. We've got all the way through the end of November. Of course, the peak of hurricane season usually doesn't occur until parts of August and September, September 10th being the peak of our hurricane season. So we've got a long way to go. Typically not much action for June and for much of July, but you never know. We always get those renegade systems that could quickly pop up and head our way. So that's why we get these tropical updates started right at the beginning of the hurricane season. So you will know exactly what's going on. And we also want you to download our Fox 26 weather app because this can be with you wherever you go on your phone. Even if you go out of the area, maybe you're traveling to a friend's house, family member's house, you can still track whatever storms are impacting you in your area because that radar will follow you anywhere you go. You can also turn the alerts on and get alerts, watches, warnings, whatever is going on, wherever you're headed to. Tropical weather updates, yep, that's there as well. Forecast cones, our follow me feature. And of course, if we ever get any hurricane watches or warnings, you can get that info as well. So grab our Fox 26 weather app from the App Store, search for Fox 26, and make sure to join us here daily, right around 4 p.m. for our daily tropical update. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Thank you for joining me and have a safe evening.